And uh, perhaps we'll end on this question. What is the most memorable meal that you've had so far? And I know you've had many, I'm sure, but yeah. the one that still, when you first hear the question, the, the image that comes to your mind. Uh, it would have to be the meal cooked by a woman in a restaurant with all women and it was neither France nor America and it was the Basque country. It was a little restaurant in Arzac, in Saint Sebastien called Arzac. And that to me was the ultimate because they, to me they understood everything there is about food, not only uh, small plates, the cooking, uh, the presentation, the flavors, the colors, but also the service. It was, you know, you could see that every woman, waitress in that restaurant, loved to serve the customer. And it was uh, really like a, a, a love movie, you know. <laughs> so that would be the meal. Can't wait to get back. Of course, yeah. So if anyone has any questions, this gentleman here. Hi. Thank you very much. It's lovely to, to hear you speak. I, um, I just want to say that I really enjoyed your book. I think it's a, a fantastic thoughts about living and, and relationship with food and other people and conviviality. I was just wondering if it's possible that you might re-release it with a different title that would make it easier <laughs> for, to get, for me to get my male friends to read it because I always find myself very apologetic when I'm trying to convince them that they should read the, 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 the actually, French women don't get fat. Yeah, I agree with you and actually I have many men who read the book and I think uh, one, they learn a few things about women but they also ask me, uh, I wish I were 30 years old because they've given me so many ideas for books, you know, and, and uh, Strange things have happened by men who uh, read my book, you know, from the way they ate. Uh, my illustrator is a good example, you know, when he did the first book, he was eating so poorly and he discovered cooking and seasonal food, you know, especially where he lived, where everything was there. Uh, but I've also had men, like uh, recently uh, in New York, actually, when I, when I launched the business book at the French Institute, this couple came to me. And this man said, um, you know, I owe you a lot. I said, really? Like, he looked fit. I said, were you heavy? He said, no. I met a French woman. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know. I don't remember saying anything about that in the book, but I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> I'll send you my invoice. <laughs> Someone else? I love all of your books, I've read them all, and I'm just wondering, as a businesswoman, do you have, um, do you find it difficult or easy, do you have any advice about how to, st how to balance working as much as you must, walking, taking the stairs, enjoying cooking, enjoying shopping, sometimes when you work so hard in our culture, yes. it's hard to enjoy all those little pleasures of life. Very good question. Actually, um, in the business book, I speak about the four anchors we have. You know, the family, the social network, the health, a job, and the last but not the least, the you, the me anchor. And the one we women especially neglect the most. And um, people say, well, I don't have the time. I work too hard. Well, we do have the time. Time is one of the few things we can control in our life. So you have to make the time. Whether it's, you know, 10 minutes a day or 5 times 5 minutes a day or 2 hours a day or an hour a day, you're going to have to cut something else. Maybe, you know, you won't be able to watch uh, your soap opera or, or go and, I don't know. But you have to find what makes you relax and makes takes the stress away. Because if you don't do that, um, not only we, you will suffer, but the ones around you. And I found that people who have found that kind of balance uh, not only feel better, but you know their family feel better. It, it, uh, it's like laughter. You, know, you can transmit it. It's very contagious. And you'll be a better person. You'll feel better. You'll work better. You'll be better with colleagues. You'll find yourself you know, smiling with people in the elevator and sort of, uh, you know, sending that beam 
So write down what, what these things are and make the time and don't feel guilty about it. You know, young women say, well, I can't do that because I feel guilty. I should do this. I should do this. I should be my husband. No, do it for yourself. Yourself is very important. We have time for one last question. Somebody else? Anybody else? Going once, going twice. <laughs> in that case, I'm sure you all want to get your book signed. So please uh, join me in thanking our guests for coming out tonight. <laughs>